Hey guys, in today's video I'll be rescuing well over $3,000 out of bnbpot.io for a customer of mine. Once again, this video is not made for entertainment and the only reason I'm making this is to build trust with my future customers. With that being said, if you're expecting to get joy out of this video, you shouldn't watch it. And if you'd like to see me actually rescue those funds, keep watching. Now, I've already enabled a self-burn bot on this wallet, which means that any funds or any BNB that comes into this wallet will be burned in a transaction just one block later. So you can see that the hackers bot takes two blocks to send the BNB out, and it's also not using all of the balance as gas fees. Which basically is the only reason a self-burn bot is so powerful. It only takes one block, so it's really fast. And on top of that, it's also using all of the BNB balance as the transaction fee in a transaction to the same wallet address. Which means there's no way the hacker can beat you because first of all, you're prioritizing yourself in the next block because you're paying the highest gas price your wallet can possibly pay because it's 100% of the balance for 21,000 gas limit and 21,000 gas limit is the lowest you can go on any transaction on the blockchain. So that's ensuring your spot in the block and on top of that it's also just one block. Now with that being said, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to modify a bot I already have which will be blurred out for privacy reasons and because obviously I'd like to help you and not get other people who might scam you, take my bot and offer the same service. So I've currently set up all the bots required to do the rescue. I'm now waiting on my customer to send me 0.03 BNB in order to do the rescue anonymously. Obviously I'm sharing that I'm doing the rescue, however it's just a, um, a safety measure I have, uh, you know, applied to doing those rescues so I can do any rescue anonymously. Also, uh, don't bother to track any wallets that get sent 0.03 BNB. Obviously, the amount will be different every time as well. I've now enabled the token bot, which would mean that the BNB pot tokens in this wallet uh, should be sent out anytime soon. That's not true, actually, because I'm waiting until he sends the money to that wallet. So we'll still have to wait until the rescue can be done. Okay, the transaction has been packed in the block. So as you can see, the funds got sent in. The transaction will be there anytime soon. We then unstake the funds and it then get transferred out and those this transfer is the tokens. And you can then also see that my self burn bot just one block later burned all the BNB that was still left in the wallet. Thus the hacker can't interact with this wallet. You can also see that we sent 123 BNB pot to my wallet and the amount BNB pot left here is about $3 which is worth rescuing so I guess I'll do that too. So I'll now run the BNB pot bot, that's a tongue breaker. Uh, which doesn't do any unstaking and just only withdraws the BNB pot in the wallet. As for this wallet, we're going to import the token. So we have the BNB pot right here and we can sell it to um, BNB. I'm hoping, yeah, it's actually, it shows the worth here, which is great. 344 USD, it's not 6,000, which is a pretty significant difference. However, I'm happy I can help someone out. By the way, the reason it's not um, 6,000 is because this is the worth inside their own protocol. And this is the actual worth. Um, however, it's not the money I'm doing it for. It's about helping people. So I'll swap this to BNB. By the way, just trying to be transparent. Obviously, I do care about the money. Otherwise, I wouldn't charge 20%. And I would also not have a minimum of $100 in fees for me. And the transaction has been completed. Which means we have 1.2 BNB or around 1.2 BNB in the wallet right now. So I'm going to send 0.838 to his wallet. And his wallet, he sent that right here. That's not true. He sent his wallet right here. Um, it ends on triple D. This is triple D as well. So I'm going to send and I'm going to confirm. I'll then go over to Binance Smart Chain Scan and send him the transaction as well. So he can see for himself that he received all the funds. 